Hello Taurus and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of July 13th. I will be following these general readings with your weekly love forecast for this week. The link for that will be down below or you can support me on Patreon and get access to all 12 weekly love forecasts for every sign every week. Now this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising, so check all three guys. Don't forget that Rising sign especially. And if this is your first time watching me, I hope this serves you. If it does, please like, subscribe, comment down below. I really appreciate it. It really does help. All right, Taurus, let's get started. Whew, the lunar eclipse finished, and now we're just integrating that energy. So really staying grounded, all my beautiful earth signs, taking that time for yourself. All right, focus. We got the energy of Taurus for the week of July 13th. For the week, July 13th. And a theme for the week. Okay. King of Wands, the Epiphany card, the Magician, the Five of Coins, the Four of Coins, the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Coins, the Two of Swords, and the theme of the week is the Lovers and the Five of Swords. Let's do this, Taurus. Starting out the week, you have the King of Wands with the Epiphany card. Now, the Epiphany card is the card of the spiritual teacher. And when you have it with the King of Wands, you might notice, Taurus, that a lot of your visions, a lot of your bigger goals, the grand scheme of your life is starting to ascend in a way that reflects everything that you've been learning. When you have the Epiphany card, this is the card of wisdom, being a light to other people. In order to have wisdom, you've had to go through some ish. You know what I'm saying? To have that experience, that's how you. That's how we gain it, trial and error. And when you have the King of Wands, you, you're recognizing that you're no longer just thinking about yourself, Taurus. You're thinking about the bigger picture, how what you do, when you do it, the decisions that you're going to make, your long-term goals are going to affect everybody else, yourself, your partners, your children, your family, whatever it is or whatever you set. And you're being quite the visionary. And you might be recognizing some Tauruses out there might be deciding to be doing some work that serves the all. So thank you so much, Taurus, for that. This is about maybe creating a, a nonprofit, a foundation, a podcast that that thinks about these bigger ideas and inspirations. You might be wanting to invest in new technology, clean energy. You're doing things and you're making big investments and decisions because the King of Wands is quite the visionary. Keeping the eye on the big picture, you're not getting too caught up in the minutia, but you're recognizing how can I give back? You know, there's lots of people that do that. Whether you want to think of, you know, I'm telling millions of them. I mean, I'm going really stereotypical here, but, you know, whether you're like a Tony Robbins or any of these people, that's just one example. I know I'm sure I can give way better examples, but this is about you using your spiritual growth for the greater good. You could write that book, do that podcast, have that speech, do a TED Talk, donate 10% of your company's you know, money to enlightenment of some form, teaching of some form, and you might want to be the one, maybe I'll be a coach. Now you have the magician. You can really do this. We have with the five of coins. I think a lot of Tauruses, don't worry so much about the money, Taurus. I know I'm telling that to an earth sign. But sometimes when we have that five of coins, we feel, sometimes when we feel like that victim, like, well, I've had to do it on my own. I've had to struggle on my own. I had to pull myself up on my own. You're not alone. You never were. And we can feel that to some degree. But understand the changes, the epiphanies, the guidance, the clarity, this bigger vision. When you have that manifestation card, you're being guided to create this. You're being guided to go through this. But when you have, you have the five of, of coins and the four of coins, you might be worried about the money, financial investments, the changes, the lifestyle that you might have to make in order to make this happen. You might be real cush and comfy. You know, like, if I do this, I don't even know what's going to make money. Don't be afraid of this. Because when you have the card of the spiritual teacher, you're meant to do this to some degree. That's part of your incarnation, part of your purpose. But do your best to surrender the aspect of need. Because when you do that, I promise you it always works out way better. So many people always think, I want to do this one day. I wish I could do that for a living. I was the same person. Now I do do it for a living. And it's wonderful. And you can give back and you can do it in a way that resonates with you. You have the Ten of Cups because at the end of the day, this is what matters to you, Taurus. You want to have emotional happiness in your relationships and your family you want to have harmonious relationships and love and everyone kind of wants it happily ever after and you have to understand as we give when you have the four of coins they're saying focus on the giving focus on the giving not just the receiving because the more that you give of yourself the more tenfold that it comes back and it's going to bless you this work is going to bless your relationships Eight of coins, two of swords. Because you're kind of at this crossroads, Taurus, like should I do it, should I not, procrastinating, stalemate. They're saying do some research. Eight of coins, do some research. 
Get your numbers in order. Sometimes when we have our logical mind backing us up, it's easier for us to make these decisions. It's easier for us because you know that it'd be healthy for you. You know that there's certain negative situations that you've got to exit. You know that you've learned this lesson already, you know, and you kind of want to walk it, live it. But sometimes knowing that the facts like, okay, this will cost this much, but I don't need everything. I don't need all those applications. I just got to start with this will help you to make that decision. And that's what you need. So do your research, run the numbers, but more importantly, Run the, the possible outcomes of service at this coming. Brendan Bouchard is another good one. I love that one. And the theme of the week is the lovers and the five of swords. This is about really toxic relationships, really toxic relationships or negative environments. Because maybe you're kind of like, I'm, I'm over just focusing, maybe me and these examples, maybe me and the person that I picked years ago, they all we used to care about is money. And honestly, that's not it anymore for me. I want to do more. And so now this become toxicity. Or maybe you're at this corner office job that paid really good money, but the culture was horrible and it's sick and you never rest and you work overtime, you know? And you're like, no, I want to work from my heart. I want to, I want to work from my heart. I want to have relationships that are healthy. I want to have relationships that are supportive and deep feeling. And you, yeah, and I think you're recognizing to some degree that the more that you honor yourself Taurus the more that this is going to be reflected in the relationships that you actually desire it can heal some or attract better ones but you're only going to attract based on where you resonate and you're trying to resonate higher serve more and that right person is going to pop in for those single Tauruses out there or if you're in a relationship that is decently healthy recognize that everyone changes and don't be afraid to change knowing that the one who's meant to be with you is going to change with you that's what healthy relationships are. Now I am going to be moving into your love forecast reading for this week. So we'll dive a little deeper in here and see what's going on with some of the relationships in your life and the guidance for this week. But I hope this serves you, Taurus. I'm excited for this. This this card here is a soul card. So you came to do great work in this world, Taurus. Very expansive work. Very visionary. You know, rubber to the road, one step at a time. That's all it takes. You're meant for this work. Have faith in yourself. Everything else will follow. I hope this serves you. If you like a more in-depth tarot session, a soul reading, a healing session, my links will be down below. Otherwise, guys, I will see you next week for next week's readings. Take care.